So we go funny back on Tekken. Okay, Tekken, negative. I want the story anyways. Let's get back to the story. My bad. So I want to just finish here. Never my controller died on me completely. Zaibatsu downing your own satellite weapon, destroying an entire town, left no doubt in my mind that this war was not between humans. The atrociousness of the fighting was inconceivable to the average person, and they soon forgot about Kazuya transforming into a devil, instead choosing to believe that the Zaibatsu were the antagonists. The concept of good and evil changed every day. What a world we live in. I was probably the only person on the planet not having the attention of the humans. To me, evil was that which had taken everything away from me, and I couldn't rest until I put a stop to it. So I went directly to the Mishima Zaibatsu's headquarters and told them I would expose them for what they are. I knew I was risking my life just to be laughed on. But I couldn't stand by and watch the world descend further into chaos. Still, they paid me no attention. Bereft of all hope, I wandered around town aimlessly. But then, a man dressed in black approached me silently and told me that Heihachi had agreed to meet me. A few hours later, I was placed in a car and driven in a completely different direction than the Zaibatsu's headquarters. When I arrived at my destination, Heihachi Mishima was there waiting for me. Sama, Mishima ke no shinjitsu wo hodo shitai to iu no de areba. Kou no jouhou wa mochiyosete iru no de aro. At that time, I had no idea why Heihachi had suddenly agreed to meet with me. His eyes latched onto mine, filling me with unshakable fear. I have delved deep into the history of the Mishimas from Jinpachi Mishima to the family's connection to Kazumi Hachicho. The year you declared the establishment of the Mishima Zaibatsu is the same year your wife Kazumi passed away and that your son sustained terrible injuries from falling off the cliff. To me, that sounds like one hell of a coincidence now, doesn't it? Oh, 
At that time, I had no idea why he wanted me to reveal everything on his behalf. But I was getting so close to the truth I had long fought to uncover that I couldn't turn down this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The devil's blood in Kazuya and the blood of Kazumi's family, Hachijo's, remains shrouded in mystery. I listened closely to every word, each step inching closer to the truth. ブドウとは真に共に己を追い込むキサマの言う通り、その年のこと。警護中、風見が突然倒れ寄った。風見は信じられるほどの高熱を出しており、急に病床に寝かせたのだが。風見 She tried to kill you? うん、じゃがよく実、熱が下がった風見は前日の出来事を覚えておらず、いつも通りの風見であった。それはまるで人格を二つ抱えた人間と共に俺ような感覚だった。そんな日が幾日も続いた。そしてある日。<笑> Oh shit. Dude, I can't fucking cut. How the fuck do that? I'm dead. Yes! 
I'm done with the other two. Okay. I now I'm gonna throw some pieces that you didn't have. Oh my god, I fucking had it, fucking did it. A bitch. So that's how you killed your wife. Motomoto was you who was the many Mishima can you put at it all. Not a Hana Karakurusu. But why did you drop Kazuya off a cliff? He was just an innocent boy. Kazumi no Chiu gets in the night of the night. Otose was Shimu de Aro Gagani Otos.生きて戻れば人間でないということになる。そして奴、案の定をそれでは死ななる。今思えば、私があの時カズヤを殺して喜ぶべきだった。もう私に残された道は一つ。すべての真実を語る。世に是非を問うことだ。how do you know about that? Akame! Samanoto da no toni chiosozumijia! 